Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the third case in our series, What's the Most Likely Diagnosis? So today we have a 60-year-old male who presents with dizziness while exercising. He has also been experiencing left arm fatigue with exertion. The right upper extremity is normal. What do you think is the most likely diagnosis? The correct answer is subclavian steel syndrome. This is the aorta and these are its branches. So we are now going to focus only on the subclavian arteries. The right and left subclavian arteries give rise to the right vertebral and left vertebral arteries respectively. These two arteries come together to form the basilar artery. The basilar artery supplies the brain. Now usually blood flows from the aorta to the left subclavian artery that supplies the left arm. But in people with subclavian steel syndrome, there is a blockage here. Due to this, very little blood is able to pass from the aorta to the left subclavian artery. This results in very little blood flow into the left subclavian artery and hence results in left arm fatigue. Since there's very little blood flowing here, the resistance and the pressure is very low here. Now we know that blood flows from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. So blood will start flowing from the basilar artery through the vertebral artery and into the subclavian artery. Now basilar artery supplies the brain, right? And since the blood is going into the left subclavian artery, very little blood is reaching the brain and that results in dizziness. In this situation, it's almost like the left subclavian artery steals blood from the basilar artery. Hence, this condition is known as subclavian steel syndrome. If you want more videos in this series, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with as many people as you can because all of this will support me and encourage me to make more videos on this topic. If you want to solve more questions on the anatomy and pathologies of the aorta, make sure you check this video out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.